Now I would like to show you a video animation of meiosis. So let's look at the video. We are going to start our animation from the S phase. Remember in S phase the DNA replicates and the cell proceeds to G2 phase. That's where the cell is going to prepare for meiosis. The first thing that happens is the centrioles, they divide. The centrioles are the centers from where the microtubules will originate. In our meiosis, when the cell enters the prophase, the chromosomes have started to condense and the centrosomes have divided and now they are moving towards the opposite poles in the cell. The chromosomes, the divided chromosomes have two sister chromatids which will ultimately become individual chromosomes themselves. There is a difference in prophase of mitosis and meiosis. In prophase 1 of meiosis, the chromosomes start to pair up. The homologous chromosomes, the chromosomes which have similar genetic information but not necessarily identical genetic information. We have said that we have two sets of chromosomes, one set coming from the one parent and the other set coming from the other parent. So paternal chromosomes and the maternal chromosomes. So in prophase 1, the chromosomes, the homologous chromosomes will start to pair up and they will lie side to side. This process will result in pairing up the homologous chromosomes. These chromosomes, they pair up their pairing is dependent upon the homology that is similarity of the DNA sequences that are present in these chromosomes. These chromosomes are joined together, these chromatids, sister chromatids, for example in this red chromosome, these are the two sister chromatids and blue, these are the two sister chromatids. These chromatids can exchange part in a process that is called crossing over. Genetic information will be exchanged between these two chromosomes and that results in diversity generated by the process of meiosis. Here you will see the blue chromosome has exchanged a part with the red and they have this exchange causes diversity. The nuclear envelope disintegrates in prophase 1, the centrioles start moving, they move towards the opposite poles and their microtubules just as in mitosis, these microtubules will attach to the kinetochores. Now in this meiosis 1, the sister chromatids are not separated, the homologous chromosomes are separated. So there is a big difference between prometaphase of prometaphase 1 of meiosis and mitosis. So here we will have the kinetochore microtubules attached to the kinetochores of homologous chromosomes. Here we, can, we are looking at the comparison of mitosis and meiosis. In meiosis, the kinetochore microtubules are attached to kinetochores of adjacent homologous chromosomes. When they contract, they will pull the homologous chromosomes apart. In mitosis, both the kinetochores of sister chromatids are attached to different spindle fibers. Here, both the kinetochores are attached of a sister chromatid to the same kinetochore, to the same uh, centrosome fibers. This will result, here the important uh, fact is that this assortment, this arrangement of chromosome is random. For example, if this is the chromosome 1, this is 2 and this is 3, the red chromosome can go with the blue chromosome up here or a blue chromosome here. Similarly, the red chromosome can go with two reds here or this red can go, red chromosome can go with one blue and one red. This process is independent and it, this process is called independent sortment and it results in genetic diversity. So now we will get to anaphase, this was the metaphase, the chromosomes were lined up at the metaphase place, we have said that this is the checkpoint, we want to make sure all the kinetochores are attached to the kinetochore microtubules. The microtubules start to depolymerize at this end resulting in pulling the chromosomes towards the spindle, towards the poles. Also, the, the other microtubules which are overlapping and not attached to the, to the kinetochores, here their motor proteins which will push these two microtubules apart resulting in stretching the, the spindle 
spindle will be forced into the opposite two spindles will be forced in the opposite direction here we will see this process the spindles see the overlapping microtubules are pushing each other now the telophase will begin the chromosomes will start to decondense and the nuclear envelope will start to form the cell will split into two process called cytokinesis there is a cleavage furrow and now from one cell we have made two cells these two cells are very different from the mitosis in these cells although the total amount of genetic material is the same however these cells have only one partner of the homologous chromosome there are two there although there are two chromatids the total number is the same as a total amount of genetic information is same as the parent however it is different in the way that only one homologous chromosome is present and the other one other homologous chromosome has gone to the other daughter cell let's move on so this was the meiosis 1 completion of meiosis 1 again at the start of meiosis 2 prophase the chromosomes will start to condense again the centrosome will split apart again and it will form these spindle fibers and centrosomes will go to the opposite poles here let's look at this process meanwhile the, the microtubules are out there looking for kinetochores they'll find the kinetochores and microtubules during prometaphase are being pushed and pulled so they are just moving around till the metaphase comes that is when all the microtubules will line up at the metaphase plate here we have the metaphase metaphase 2 here the, the chromatids the sister chromatids please also note that sister chromatids are not identical whereas in mitosis the sister chromatids were identical since they had exchanged some of the chromatids had exchanged their genetic information one of their homologous chromosomes so they are not identical as the process continues the in anaphase the centromeres will also separate and the chromosomes will go to the opposite poles along with the centrosome cytokinesis will take place we have gone from one cell to four cells here the important fact is that the total number of chromosomes the total amount of genetic information is half this happens when gametes formed and when gametes are formed they, we know that they'll fuse with the other gamete the male gamete will fuse with the female gamete resulting in an embryo so embryos or offsprings from the same parents do not have identical information genetic information because of crossing over and also independent assortment i hope you enjoyed the video and it helped you clarify some of the concept we had talked about